A gorgeous green canopy, a site treasured by many who live on tree-lined streets. People come to live in this place because they love the forest. Dr. Terry Patterson, a longtime Silver Spring resident, cherishes his trees. And you can see how healthy it is. But trees and pipes don't always mix. We needed new water mains here, we really did. I mean, time and time again, there was one leak after another, after another, after another. At a certain point, look, things are just worn out. WSSC replaced the aging water main on Terry's street, but through the course of the project, he lost a little of his beloved forest. The three poplars were tall. One as tall as 100 feet. In all, four trees Terry enjoyed for years had to be removed. And you kind of show transparency early on in the process with homeowners. They tend to be more understanding as it relates to tree removal. Customer advocate Brandon Stewart wasn't the only person from WSSC working closely with Terry. It was excellent actually, it really was, especially working with an, a real arborist, someone who really understands trees. Meet Doug Seavers. I'm the one and only urban forester. Primary job is roadside trees. I am a certified arborist. That's why I'm in this profession, because I love trees. Doug has a critical job at WSSC. To um, assess the trees and what what their, what our maintenance impacts will be on the trees and what the trees impact is on our infrastructure and um, make recommendations as to whether we can save the trees. We start early in the um, design phase when we first design our engineers go and look. They do actual site visits to each site to look at each tree. Once the design is complete, before we even do construction, our actual construction managers come back out again to ensure you know, that those trees actually need to be removed or if they need to be pruned. We work also with the customers because our customer advocates, our construction managers, our project managers go and speak to each individual homeowner prior to us removing or pruning any trees on their property. The trade-off between a functional sewage line and a tree is certainly a clear decision for us um, to have everything working. So we understand the need to update infrastructure and sometimes that means having to replace or take down trees. Jeremy Gans has an old sewer main in front of his home as well as a huge tree. It's an older tree and it provides a lot of shade and you know I think value for our house. But remember, trees and pipes don't always mix. These are tree roots that have made their way inside WSSC's sewer mains, living on the water and nutrients inside the pipes. Roots then create blockages and the sewage gets backed up, often into basements. It was just notify me because I know it's going to be some coordination with the homeowners. The sewer main on Jeremy Street was not only old, it was also riddled with roots. While WSSC's pipes often run in the street, some are found in the grassy right-of-way in front of homes, and then trees get planted right on top of them. The tree that shades Jeremy's home needed to go with the original replacement plan. The roots had spread so far over the years, they were right on top of the pipe that connects WSSC's main to Jeremy's home. It was definitely a very consultative process and there was a lot of asking for our feedback. There's definitely a lot of conversation about what could be done to sort of work around the tree and to save it. Arborist Doug Seavers and the construction team work together, modifying the plans and save the tree. Where we're going to be using trenchless technology. We're going to disconnect the homeowner service, which uh, ties into a clean out right here. We're going to put a 45 degree bend on it and basically disconnect them from this location and run the line around the tree and tying them back into the sewer main and basically salvaging the tree in the same process. I do appreciate it I'm being a very, a lot of communication around the work that's being done and not just sort of coming in one day and saying this is what's happening, you'll have to deal with it. Um, so that, that's definitely appreciated. Meanwhile, back at Terry's house, where he lost four trees. Sure enough, I got four excellent trees that uh, have replaced them. I've never seen a better quality uh, job of planting trees. Generally, we plant a new tree for each tree we remove. For Terry, it will be years before his saplings soar to the heights of his poplars. But in the meantime, his community does have a new water main, and he's looking forward to nurturing the newest additions to his forest. Big thank you. Um, you know, everything was very professionally dealt with. 